You know, this area of the garage is the bane of my existence, not so much because of its location, but because of its lack of order. My problem is down here. And since I don't come into this area very often, it just gets dusty and because I don't, I, I don't like it, it's not an enjoyable, uh, organized area. This area here with my toolboxes I detest. I'm finding more and more that I cannot stand these things. And I was reading a book on organization and it gives three stages of organization. The first stage is uh, accessibility. The first stage of accessibility is things need to be easily accessible. In other words, sitting directly on a shelf right in front of you where you can easily grab it. The second stage are things that are in cabinets that you can just open the doors and you see, and if I want my center, my center rule, I know where it is. It's not hidden away in a drawer. This is the second stage and I'm okay with this. The third stage, which I detest and I hate, are drawers. This is what Adam Savage from the Mythbusters calls evil. <laughs> he said drawers are places where things go to die. And he is absolutely correct. I find myself grabbing a tool and then when I'm done with it, not putting it back in the drawer, even though that would be more organized, but yet it's still too hard to find. It goes into a drawer, the drawer closes up, and then you've got to try to figure out which drawer it's in, open it up, and then hope that that tool is in there. And so I find myself grabbing a tool when I'm done with it, throwing it on the top. And the reason why I think psychologically that a lot of us do that is because sitting on top, when I need it again, I can easily retrieve it. And so Adam Savage, back to him, says that this is, it's called the order of uh, retrievability or something like that. But um, I call it accessibility. I need stuff easily accessible. So what I want to do is I want to completely do away with these toolboxes, the bane of my existence. Now I watched Adam build, well I didn't watch him build it, but I saw a tool rack that he has that's standing about five or so feet and it has all the things that he uses regularly on this cart and so he can easily grab it. Now and this is what I want to do, so I'm going to build this cart using his idea, but I'm going to expand it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to put more space on it and uh, just make it a little more organized than he has. And so that was kind of my inspiration to do all this. I just decided these, these uh, toolboxes are going to go to a good home, never to be seen again, and hopefully never have another toolbox in my garage. I say that now, <laughs> but who knows, a year from now I may be uh, I may be changing my mind, but I don't think so. I need my tools easily accessible. I would like to have everything that I can stage one accessibility. And then what I can't have in stage one accessibility, stage two, which would be cabinets. But I want to do away with drawers completely. I don't like them. So I'm going to go ahead and build this, and it's, I don't have plans, so I'm just going to build this kind of like as I go, which is the way I build a lot of things. And so when I'm laying this out, I'll make sure that I give you the dimensions and uh, each piece as I go along. So let's give this a shot and let's make our tools more accessible. Well, at least mine. I'm not saying you have to, but yeah, this is, this is just a, 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 an absolute crying shame.